ultra cold today. All right, next level cold today. I'll give you a quick little peep of what outside is looking like. Super great. Got a little bit of drizzle. Went to the movies yesterday. Had a mean day. Went to go watch Oppenheimer, the father of the atomic bomb. What a demon. That guy's a living devil. I don't know if he's still alive, but that guy's a devil. But that's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. If he didn't create it, someone else would have. I got a lot on my plate today, so we're going to keep it just easy and convenient. Something that you guys love. We're going to start with the fries, right? Burgers need fries, regardless what you think. I didn't think that way, but guys, they need the fries. They need fries. Now, there's many different brands of fries wherever you are in New Zealand. Throw all of those away. The only fry that you ever need are these. Old man potato makikihi fries. These are from Canterbury. They ain't vegan. They ain't vegetarian. Do you know why? Because they par fry them in beef fat. Holy sh**. Guys, I saw this fry. I'll tell you the story about how I found this fry. Back in the 5018. Pulled up to the supermarket and seen these 2kg fry. I've never seen 2kg bags of fry ever, right? They always come in 1kg bags. I thought this was like a budget, whatever the f***. Because it's all around the same price for the 1kg. 2kg, this one was cheaper. And I'm like, I ain't, this is like the first time I've seen this. This must be like a budget. Didn't really pay much mind to it, right? You know, you want to go for the, the, the pretty marketing, the pretty bag, stuff like that. This is a mean bag. This is a pretty bag. But it just glazed right over, right? Once I saw it, I was like, all right, you know, 2kg bag. Let's try it out. Try it out. Best f***ing fry I've ever had in my entire life. Post on my Instagram. Now me and the owners are friends. So that's f***ing sick. Like, what a friend to have. They see me, they always like to see me goodie bags and I'm so grateful for them. And whenever I like to talk about fries, my kiki he, you guys are the best. So they use beef fat to par fry these fries. Genius. Seriously, 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 genius. Straight into a bowl. Let's hit it with some salt. Straight in. Give these guys a shake. Into the air fryer. 200 for, I think it's like 20 minutes. Pretty much we got 20 minutes to get our burgers done because no one likes cold fry and hot burger and no one likes hot fry and cold burger. They need to be done at the same time. And we're going to be cooking these today. These are Silver Fern Farms Pure Burgers. I made a video for these guys like last year. Over the last month I'm just using up the rest of the vouchers. So in stores they only had the brisket variation. But I think the content that I made for it was like a venison burger, they got a lamb one, a slider one. I'll tell you what, no paid promotion, but these are definitely the best frozen patty that I've ever had. You know, just buying from a supermarket like that and just chuck them in. This is what they look like. They're pretty fat too. I'll just give it a press down. Get some surface area on the pan. Every good burger needs a good sauce. We're gonna go in with some QP mayo. And guys, I don't measure sh So if you're looking for measurements, it's upon request. I'll chuck in the description. You gotta let me know if you want the mayo. Tomato sauce for sweetness. And we need like a whole lot of mild American mustard. Here's where we take it to a completely different dimension because with beef burgers and fatty burgers especially, you gotta have that sang to cut through all of the richness. So you can see super heavy mustard sauce, you got a bit of richness from the mayo, sweet tomato sauce, and hot English mustard. We need probably this much, half a teaspoon is all you need. If you want more, more spicy, more cutthroat, cut through action, add more. 
Give that a mix around. But you'll notice I didn't add any liquid like uh, white vinegar or pickle juice or anything like that, it becomes liquid, like wet. It's too wet, the buns get wet, it's soggy, it's dripping down your wrists, all over your mouth. Bro, we need to eat our burgers in style. If you like a messy burger, yeah, good on you, but I know 99% of the people out there don't really. All right, the splatter tool works wonders too. And we're going. Hey. Give it a flip. Give it a flip. Give it a flip. Give it a flip. Press, 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 press. Back on. It's about two minutes until the burgers are done. Because I'm not going to be eating all of it now. I'm taking. The ones that I don't need out. And you'll understand why real soon. So these ones are for later. Fake American cheese, American style cheese, processed cheese. This is the absolute best for burgers. You just try that straight on top. Get a little push down. And A little bit of water and steam to help the cheese melt. Yeah, under. Separate plate. Don't put this directly on your burger bun. There you go. Look at that. Smooth, beautiful, delicious. Chuck it to the side. Chuck our pan to the side. That's it. That cooking is done. While our burger's resting, I've got my burger buns. Chuck them in the oven. We're toasting it. If you want a decent burger, you gotta toast your buns. They give structural integrity to the bun, okay? This is a proper toast. You can see the color change. Smells like bread. Oh, crispy. It's gonna hold up beautifully. I always like to go decently generous with the sauce. A teaspoon and probably like a half on each bun. Because we don't want no dry burgers and we don't want no sloppy, disgusting, gross burgers. you got to remember the, the burger itself, the meat, still has a lot of those juices within it. You don't want to be cooking that shit until it's dry. We're not cremating it, eh? I always make my burgers this way. Always, always, always. Bottom is pickles. Try and get everything flat. Once it's not flat, that's enough pickles. If there's anything less than this, I don't want it. Burger patty. You can have a look, smooth, you even got some crispy cheese bits right here. Man, I'll try and flip it so I can show you the crust. There's the actual crust of the burger. F perfect guys, seriously. That guy goes on. I like putting them directly on the patty. Because just the beef and the raw onion, it's as well, again, they're raw. Because I really want as much ingredients to work with the beef, cut through the beef. The beef is, is the star, right? Next up is lettuce. Bro, ideally I want iceberg, but these are fancy lettuces. I don't know how in what world, what universe I'm living in, that fancy lettuces are cheaper than iceberg. But, you know, accept it, use what you have. Now we've got fancy lettuce. That's the next addition. Last of all is, tomato it's very whopper-esque this burger with the raw onions the lettuce and the tomato the sauce is not but whoppers is one of my favorite burgers out so there's a lot of inspiration shout out bk chuck them on as our burger done this looks like crabby patty i got malt vinegar just i need this on my chips just anything that insinuates flavor, I want it. You don't have to if you don't like it. You already know, McDonald's, why are McDonald's fries so delicious? They salty out of this world. So the vinegar lets the salt stick to the chips after it's done. You can see the salt crystals. Yum, 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 yum. Super salty. 
got some nice crunch to them too but the salt it's like a sweet and sour kind of vibe sour from the vinegar salty sweet and sour it's like a sour salty the very rare occasion i have burger and fries i always 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 eat my fries first smash the burger down smash 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 and let's get it in Everything about this is perfect. Just hella beefy, man. Super cheesy. Pickles bring a lot of the sweetness. Onion for bite, tomato, yum. Sauce, yum. The bun's giving NZ Fish and Chip Shop vibe. All good. When someone got something on their face, whether it's a friend or a random stranger, do you tell them? Do you give the slight point? Or do you just be like straight, if they're not getting it, do you just tell them? Then you got something on your face. Or are you, or do you just leave it alone? This is a question that I asked again and again and again. It's a real good icebreaker, just to see whoever you're talking to is a fucking douchebag or not. Because the douchebags, don't fucking say anything. You always have to say something and you always got to look out for your fellow human. People there is like, oh, it's too awkward, too awkward. Bro, I never understand their, their justification. Because you always got to have an open heart, a big heart, to make sure no one else is making themselves fucking look like a clown. Unless they obviously want to. And you can't help people like that. Little sauce. Or if it's a lipstick on the teeth, let me know if you look out for your fellow humans. Because, look, I always point it out, but not in a ha ha kind of way. It's you know like if you if you're discreet with it, you're sweet. Or you know go up, give a little whisper, bro. Because that's love, in my opinion. That's love. You're looking out for someone, and you're not making them look like a fool, bro. I'm gonna leave you all right there. I had a mean lunch. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me on Instagram or in the comments down below if you want to see me cook up anything that you like. And I'll catch you on the next one.